just editing a video actually. Oh, there I am. And you are gonna see this video very soon. Everybody, how are you going today? It is so very, very good to see you. Well, today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a deep dive of what it takes to take an image from Capture One or Lightroom, wherever you work. It's an RGB image because that is how your camera captures in red, green and blue. And in order for it to be in the best shape to be print ready, we have to make it CMYK. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and K stands for key, for black. So we've got to change it from RGB to CMYK and we still have to make it look good. And there are certain extreme colors that don't work so well and um, there are others that work just fine. So we are gonna start here with this image right here, taken of the Nikon Z 24-200 to full frame lens that just came out. This was an image I used for one of my thumbnails. And if we uh, if we decided we wanted to print it in a book, well, we'd have to make it CMYK. If you don't do that, if you just give it to the printer, they'll do it and they won't they won't make it look like how you want it to look. They invariably don't care and they just do whatever. So it's important that you do it. Otherwise you might get a rude shock if you've printed a thousand of something and something just does not look like what you're expecting. Let's jump into this one and see if an image like this has any problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by, uh, we've, we've made it what we want it to make it. And we're going to look at it here. This is a Z6 image, 24 megapixels, shot on the 50mm. So we know it's gorgeous already. And we're going to export it. When we're going to print, we want it to be a PSD. I already have some pre-made presets and off we go let's process that okay and so now we move to Photoshop right now the color space that it is in we can see is RGB color and we want to make it CMYK so we do that now keep an eye on the colors will any of them change or are these within the gamut they within the gamut of CMYK. It looked very hard on the screen. Hmm. It did seem to dull the blue slightly. Let's just look again. No, maybe not. So this is a good example of an image that won't change. The next step you make is your printer may well have a profile and you want to assign that profile. So this is a profile I use for example and it can change the picture again so let's let's have a look undo redo undo redo so basically this has now become a CMYK file it is ready to print and what we've learned about this image is everything is within gamut so we don't have any problems it's going to print fine. This was an easy image. Now let's find a hard image. One that does not work as easily as this. So here's a potentially interesting interesting image that might work for us because of all of this crazy color. Now, let's have a look at the adjustments and where So, as I've said before, I shoot flat. This is why I bring color up a little bit. A bit of contrast brought up the shadows because I want to see this area. This file's looking lovely. I do love how it looks and I'm guessing it's the Z7 because of when it was the start of last year. What I'm going to do is just crank these colors beyond what I'd normally want but some people sometimes go a little bit crazy. You know I still think this would probably print. Maybe up here it would not. Okay so we've got some pretty bright colors in here. 
Look at the Z7. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Look, look at that. That is at 100%. That is at 200%. And just looking absolutely delicious. And this is with the kit lens or the, the supplied lens, the 24 to 70. Anyway, sorry, I got a little bit lost in that. But geez, it's a sharp lens considering they bundle it. And this is at 200%. If we go to 100%, you're just going to be going, wow. I mean, look at this rendering in here. This is lovely. We're up in the corner here. Uh, look at all of that. And I am only set to f4, so it's wider open. Anyway, lots of detail. Everything is there. Let's export it as a PSD. We're just going to go 8-bit. Not, not worth it to do any more. Process that out. Processing it out. Off we go. There we go. Okay, there it is. So we can see the file is RGB and now we want to make it CMYK. Let's see if anything changes. Yes, I felt like it did. So what I'm doing here is swapping between RGB and I can see, okay, here's one area that it's definitely changing. So watch this pink and that is CMYK. So watch the pink and the blue. See that? That is the difference. That is what you lose. So that's an example. The red is also changing. If you look at the red here, CMYK, RGB. Even the yellow is changing a little bit, but it's not as perceptible. But the red and the pink certainly are. So that is an example of what happens. Now, we're CMYK. There we are, CMYK. But, of course, you can bring your file back. First, we'll apply our profile. Profile helps you out a bit and is adding a little bit more contrast is what I think it's doing there. So you can decide whether you're still happy with your image once that's happened. And then you can attempt to put some of the color back that you've lost. Now, it, it, it can only print CMYK, so it will not add any color, but sometimes the process just removes more, it removes a color it can't do, but it's possible to add back a color that you can do, if that makes any sense. So let's just lift the saturation. Now if we lift it, you can see that this pink color that we lost is just not moving. It is at max, and we can see there is, as always with saturation, there's color appearing when you don't want it. And this area here and here is just simply not changing. So basically, all of these colors are at their absolute maximum of what they can do, and you just have to decide whether that file there is what you can live with. And if we go to our history, there's our history, we can go back to the original, and we can go back to the CMYK. Original, CMYK. So, it is a little bit it is a little bit flatter this is what happens then what do you do with this file it's ready to go to print it's got its color profile it's cmyk and you go file save as pretty simple file save as and then you want to make it an eps that's the standard printing format you call it awesome new print because it is it's awesome and you save it where it needs to go. EPS, you can just leave all of that as is. And you are done. So I hope that just gives you a, a, a kind of high level view on how you bring a file from say Capture One or Lightroom. It's a PSD, it, goes to, to, it comes in as RGB and then from RGB you turn it into CMYK and you can try and fix things. Let me know if you'd like to see more on this topic. I would love to share it with you. All right, well, if this is your first time here, it is absolutely so lovely to meet you and thank you so much for being here. And I'd love to see you again. So please, please, please subscribe, please share, and please like. And I'll see you very soon. And let me know in the comments below. Please do let me know uh, if you'd like to see more videos about this topic. Maybe we could go through some other types of images 
or anything else in regards to making your images press ready or making your images G-Clay ready, ready for um, uh, 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 inkjet printing because I, um, I am going to deep dive on that one actually so that will be next in this series on getting your images ready for print. Alright, catch you later.